Hello everybody, welcome to Beer, Toys and Banter. I'm Nez and I'm Dunny. And uh, lockdowns, our local lockdowns have been restricted and uh, we're currently doing our staycation in uh, the North Yorkshire town of Massam, uh, home to not one but two breweries and as you can see today we're at the Black Sheep Brewery. Let's get inside and try some beer. So here we are inside and uh, as you can see we're already uh, part way down our first pint and the first one we're trying is Black Sheep IPA which is new uh, in keg. They've done this before in a cask but they're now doing it in a keg and it's 4.6% done in what do you think? It's not bad mate, it's, it's drinkable, it's nothing special. I can sink a few of them. I could definitely, definitely drink that all night. Very it's, pleasant beer. Yeah. Again, nothing special. There's not much taste, but it's a pleasant session IPA, isn't it? Great little beer. Looking forward to what we try next. Great big blackboard up there full of beers. We need to select another one. Right, here we are. We have a second drink. I've gone for the chocolate orange stout, which is a 6.1%. It's a big boy drink. There's what you want. Uh, I've gone for the keg uh, milk stout at 4.4% because I'm playing the long game. I'm not going home in an ambulance in 20 minutes. I'm playing the long game. And uh, cheers to that it. Is, that is absolutely beautiful. That is ex exactly what you'd expect from a chocolatey orange stout. It's chocolatey and it's orangey. <laughs> is it stouty? <laughs> and it's a stout mate. No, seriously. That, that's a really beautiful beer, that. You, you, do you know what I've just suddenly thought? We don't do enough stouts on beer toys and banter. We, no. we tend to go for IPAs, but I guess, you know, we've been through the summer and IPAs are a nice summer drink. Yeah. This milk stout on keg, superb. Nice and cold, which is how I like them. Um, milky, obviously, because it's a milk stout. Lots of lactose in there and uh, very very robust chunky earthy stout great mm. beer well done black sheep brewery yep. cheers successful Sorrel. trip to black sheep i think matt on to the next one absolutely so while we finish these uh, beers go and make yourself a cup of tea or pour yourself a beer and we'll see you in the toy room so good time in uh, Masham Dunny. Excellent, man. Really, really nice uh, place to visit, and a uh, couple of great breweries there. Uh, some great beers as well, mate. Mm. So we've done the, the some beer. We've had a bit of banter. Let's crack on with the toys. So I've added to my um, Galaxy of, of Adventures. Um, both of these are from Sainsbury's. Now I knew that some Sainsbury's were stocking this Luke Skywalker, which I believe. Uh, was an exclusive in the States to Walmarts, Walgreens or whatever. Uh, I didn't even know there was a hand Solo, so dead no, chuffed, dead chuffed to go in, into Sainsbury's, buy a bit of shopping and uh, pick up this hand Solo. Um, so let's open them up. I think these are, the, you know, as, as we said before, um, when I opened some other Galaxies of Adventures on, on the Attraction Banter, uh, they've grown on me when they first come out, came out just after the Rise of Skywalker. I didn't really get them, uh, but now I actually love the cartoon look on them. I mean, even though that's kind of a cartoon version of Han, you can tell who it's supposed to be. I think they're really, really cool little figures. Yeah, they're a great little figure. Um, and, you know, not expensive, 10 quid or something, 9.99 or whatever they are. Um, so that's Han. I think he may need some assistance in standing. But, nice. yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's... Han, is he going to stand on his own? No, we'll lay him down. Let's have a quick look at Luke. Now, in the latest uh, Hasbro Pulse um, online 
presentation, they um, they said they were going to do more of these. So, I, so I'm looking forward to that. I, you know, for one, I'm definitely looking forward to um, more of these. I think they're great. They will stand up. Now again, um, he's got that excellent work. Thanks. He's got that um, cartoon look, but you can tell who it is. It's it's Luke Skywalker. And this is Luke in his Jedi outfit from Return of the Jedi. Let's put his lightsaber in his hand there. There you go. And he's got that. I'm not sure how you do it, maybe. Lightsaber chopping action. There you go. Can't beat it. Bit of lightsaber choppage. Lightsaber chopping action. So there they are. That's Luke and Han. Nice little addition there to my Galaxies of Adventures. I look forward to getting back to my place and sticking them on the Galaxies of Adventure yeah. uh, shelf. Luke's just killed Han. So go on. What are you going to talk about, Dunny? Right, well, I know your feelings on these. But I've gone for this week, first time we've done this. These are the Funko Pops. This is the the Underground Exclusive Riggies Funko Pop. Obviously, I've got these because I'm doing a, a signing with Mr. Springer. Again, you know, they do make me laugh. Underground exclusive, which you can buy in B&M bargains. Whatever underground, oh underground toys. Yeah. Okay, I've never heard of them. So these, you know, th these these were, I think this were a tenner. You could get them a couple of months ago for like a five or a four quid. Do I get them? No, but I've got a lot of, I've got the FET ones, I've got all the FET ones I can get, and they do seem to bring FET ones out every single week. I have to say I don't get them at all. No. Uh, but I know that I'm in the minority, yeah. because um, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of people collect pop vinyl. Yeah. Um, and I've I told mean, that, you before, that's the clever thing. I, that, exactly, that's why I think they do it, because they're numbered. Well, I've, numbered. Got to have more. I've got to have number 25. And also what they do is they re-release them. So the band will be a different colour. So like the Bib Fortuna one, you collect that, you collect the blue one, and then you collect, I think it's the red one. But, you know, people, people love them, people sell them. You know, when I do a signing... I always get loads signed because they just fly out. So that's my purchase. Underground Toys exclusive, which wasn't got from Underground Toys. It was got from eBay. 9.99, Reese Funko Pop. If you're, a, if you're a Funko Pop collector, I'm sure you'll love them. Uh, they're just not for me. I have one in my collection, uh, which was a gift. Um to me for helping out with the biker scout mm. uh helmet um project at celebration london and um uh, obviously i keep that one as a as a souvenir uh, and it was a you know a gift so a, and a very grateful received <coughs> gift but but um generally speaking they're not my thing um i mean things like that one i kind of get it because it does <coughs> look like reese some of the human characters are just like a weird peach with two black dots for eyes. Mm -hmm. And they all look the same to me. But again... Uh, I well, that, that's the point of them, isn't it? I, I know I'm in the minority and, and people love them. So if you're a pop collector, uh, I'm sure this is for you. Um, that's about it for uh, this episode. Great time in Masham. Great couple of toys there. Couple of great beers. Um if you like what we're doing, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, 
leave us some comments. Um, let us know, uh, you know, any beers you want us to drink, any toys you want us to review. Um, one of the thoughts I have done it is to maybe do a special where we don't do Star Wars toys, but we just do some other vintage toys or something like that. But if you've got ideas of what you want us to do, let us know in the comments. Absolutely. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Cheers, people.